Let's start simple. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing means storing and accessing data, applications, or services over the internet instead of your computer's hard drive. When you upload photos to Google Drive, stream on Netflix, or use ChatGPT, you're using the cloud. The cloud is just a collection of massive computers called servers sitting inside global data centers. You don't see them, but they're constantly running, handling your files, apps, and processing power remotely. Instead of buying expensive hardware and maintaining it, you rent resources from these servers as you need there. That's what cloud computing is. On-demand computing power through the internet. Now, there are three main service models you should know. IAAS, PAAS, and SAAS. IAAS, Infrastructure as a Service. This gives you the raw building blocks, virtual servers, storage, and networking. Think of it as renting an empty apartment. You bring everything you need. Developers love this because they have full control. Examples, AWS EC2, Google Compute Engine, and Microsoft Azure. PAAS, Platform as a Service. Now imagine moving into a furnished apartment, Everything's ready, you just start living. Pass gives developers a platform to build and deploy apps without worrying about servers or maintenance. You write the code, the platform handles the rest. Examples are Heroku, Firebase, Google App Engine. SAS, Software as a Service. This is the most familiar one. You don't manage anything, you just use the app. Think Gmail, Zoom, Dropbox, or Google Docs. The software lives entirely on the cloud. It's like staying at a hotel. Everything's managed for you. Now let's talk about types of cloud deployment. Basically, who owns and uses the cloud? There are four main types. Public, private, hybrid, and multi-cloud. Public cloud, open to everyone. Infrastructure owned by cloud providers like AWS or Google Cloud. It's affordable, scalable, and easy to start. Private cloud, dedicated to one organization only, either hosted on site or privately managed, used by banks, governments, or big companies needing full control and security. Hybrid cloud, a mix of both. Sensitive data stays private, less critical stuff runs on public cloud. It's the best of both worlds, flexible and secure. Multi cloud, using multiple providers together. For example, AWS for storage, Google Cloud for AI, Azure for backups, it avoids vendor lock-in and increases reliability.